Hi Pisces, welcome to Ashuna's Tarot. I went ahead and pre-shuffled and laid out the spread and connected to spirit in regards to your reading. Uh, if you would like a private reading, the information is in the description box below. It's ashunastarot at gmail.com. Remember to include your name, your birthday, and your questions. If you're asking about someone else, uh, make sure to include their name and their birthday. Um, but yeah, that's all I have, Pisces. Let's go ahead and get started. Ace of Swords, Seven of Cups, Seven of Wands, Ace of Wands, to Nine of Wands in the reverse, to Knight of Swords. So, Pisces, we're starting out with an Ace of Swords to the Nine of Swords. Knight of Swords. So, I feel like there's some information that is coming in that you've been waiting on to, to make a move, okay? Like, there's a major move that you're making here, okay? We have two Aces, okay? Two new beginnings, an Ace of Swords and an Ace of Wands, okay? Wands is fire is very fast-moving energy. Once you have that information, you are going very, very quickly towards this goal, towards this manifestation, whatever this is for you, okay? This is more general, uh, so apply it to your situation. If you would like a personal, the information is in the description box below. But there's some information, some clarity that you've been waiting on, okay? As this information is coming in, you are making moves, Pisces, big moves. Uh, I don't know what this is pertaining to, but what I'm feeling is that the Seven of Cups had kind of like, it feels a little bit like the hangman energy because you were trying to figure out what direction, which way to go, what was the best decision, how to best maneuver the situation, whatever this is for you. Um, but it was like from this level of understanding, and this is a water card, but I oftentimes pick this up a lot like the air energy, okay? Because even though it's a water card, he's in his head, okay? He's in his head, so he's trying to think the best way to go about this, what moves to make, what decision to make. And look at the haziness. That represents mental fog, okay? So he can't see clearly. If he makes a decision from the state of mind, he might end up with a snake. He might end up with a bat. He might end up with the ladders. Ladders represent it being harder than it has to be. Or he might end up with a hole in his cup, okay? So it's not a good place to make decisions from. So I feel like because you've been at the Seven of Cups, you waited. Like, you kind of, like, waited to make a decision um, until things clear up enough for you to go forward, okay? Because the Knight of Swords is someone who knows exactly what it is that they want how it is that they're going to attain it and what steps to take. And that's why he goes so fast, okay? He doesn't let anyone or anything stop him. He is very, very steadfast on his path. But he can only do that from a place of clarity, Ace of Swords. This is major, Pisces. I don't know what this is pertaining to, but this is some information that you've really been waiting on. Ace of Swords and Page of Swords, okay? That's interesting. We have a lot of Swords energy. So it's information, okay? Swords talks about information, talks about clarity, talks about perspective, talks about seeing the bigger picture before you make a decision, before you make a move. And Page of Swords is someone who does a lot of research, someone who does a lot of studying, a lot of due diligence. So I don't know if this is like a business decision. I don't know what this, what this is pertaining to. All I know is it's pertaining to two new beginnings in your life, an Ace of Swords to an Ace of Wands. I don't know, Pisces, but that missing piece of information is coming in. And that's what's creating this momentum. I want to clarify, but before I do, I really like want to absorb the cards because... The more I tap in, the more specific it gets. And I'm trying to keep it as general as possible. But something has held you back. Something halted you from going all in. And again, I don't know what this is. This could be going all into a project, going, on, going all into a business, to an idea, going all into a certain kind of investment, to a certain kind of decision in a relationship. I don't know. But the Seven of Cups is that hesitation, that indecision from going all in into something. Because Knight of Swords is someone who's all in, okay? It's all in. Like, he goes for what it is that he wants with everything he has. Is a very steadfast moving energy. This is kind of like seeing your target pointing the arrow and shooting. That kind of, it, that's how steadfast he is. Uh, sometimes it does represent like the eagle hawk energy, okay? Eagles and hawks are some of the, the greatest predators, okay? They see their prey from a distance and... They spend very little time hunting because you're so good at it, okay? So, I don't know. I don't know why this is coming in. 
before I clarify, I want to read uh, into the Knight of Swords, okay? So, Knight of Swords, haste, streamlined decision-making, intelligence, wit, determination, saving the day, the pursuit of excellence, ambition, being assertive, success. The Knight has one thing on his mind, it's running towards his success. He's determined and passionate, articulate and intelligent, and he has an intensity that is hard to grasp. With the grace and the speed of an athlete, he turns on a dime and since he has no doubt in his sound logic, he succeeds. Are you bringing your belief in competitive assertiveness to your situation? How determined are you to accomplish this and to charge ahead with your quick thinking and strategic decision making? Strive for excellence every single day in order to bring a little of his magic into your life. As with all powerful energies, you may run the risk of being overly forceful or domineering. Be careful not to hurt others with your impatience to win. If you're feeling scattered, distracted, or blocked, spend time organizing your thoughts and make sure that all your energy is hurtling in the same direction. I move quickly to help others as that, and as I do, my dreams expand. So yeah, this is Pisces, like this energy is dominating the entire reading, okay? So there's something massive here that you're about to make moves on. Like, again, it's like seeing your target, aiming the arrow and shooting. That's exactly what this is. You're about to make big moves and this energy is taking over the entire reading. So all I'm feeling here is that there's a piece of information, a confirmation, something is coming in, okay? Uh, because this is someone who's been trying to add up the math equation. Okay, someone who's been going in loops. Again, swords energy, mental. Okay, so it's like a mental clarity, a piece of information, of communication that is coming in as she goes loops and loops and loops. Finally, the breakthrough, the light shines through. The math equation adds up. So some piece of information is coming in that is helping you make a decision to where you're going, Pisces, with everything you have. You're making big moves in your life. Uh, and it's in regards to this Ace of Wands, this brand new beginning, okay? Ace of Swords, two brand new beginnings in your life. I don't know what the Nine of Wands is doing here in the reverse. We had this Nine of Wands in the same position in the reverse, I think in the last reading. Um, but that's interesting because when that happens, it's a continuation of the energy. So I don't know, because this feels a little bit out of whack. I don't know what this is doing here. Pisces, it also feels, okay, this makes sense. This information comes from within. It's not an answer that you're getting outside of yourself. Like, I don't know how to explain it because here, as you can see here, it's two sevens. Uh, here, he's kind of looking at all his options and he's thinking, like he's in his head, like he doesn't know which one, he doesn't know which way to go. And here, she's kind of going within and kind of clearing the energy. So it's two very different dynamics. I don't know, this one feels very messy. And distorted this one feels very clean and intentional okay because as you can see here there's a focus on her i don't know why this camera won't focus there's a focus on her solar plexus chakra which is the action taking chakra exactly knight of swords so it's like you have this moment of hesitation then you go within to get this piece of information once you get this piece of information your solar plexus chakra activates and you move very very fast you start making big moves in regards to whatever this new beginning is in your life Um, Pisces, I'm going to go ahead and clarify because I want to know like what this is pertaining to. And again, it's general, so I don't know how deep I will be able to go. Okay, that's a little bit better. So we have Queen of Swords coming out. We have Five of Cups in the reverse. Nine of Cups, the Tower in the reverse, and then the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. It feels like the creativity might have felt blocked because of this crossroads, because of the Seven of Cups and because of the Two of Pentacles. Like your element, like your essence, like your sense of creativity or the ideas that were coming in to propel this new beginning or to propel the action whatever it was is it's kind of been it feels a little bit halted it feels a little bit like 
whatever this crossroads, whatever these offers on the table, whatever this two of pentacles is, has halted the, the movement. Again, I, I keep feeling the hangman energy, but the hangman's not here. So it feels like it's something to do with information that you need to move forward. Because you don't want to go in the wrong direction. The, the wheel of fortune in the reverse, okay? Because it's like, you can go so steadfast, you can go so fast and you can, you know, you know, point your arrow and shoot the target. But if it's the wrong target, if it's the wrong direction, it's like, I think that's, Pisces, I think it feels more like self-doubt or not wanting to make a mistake because you don't want the wheel in the reverse. Like you don't want to like repeat a lesson. Like you don't want to backtrack in a sense. Um, and that, like that apprehension, that hesitation is like, cause this is, these two cards are talking about creativity and creation. Okay, both of, the, both of these cards. This one's fire, this one's water, but it's talking about the same thing essentially. These are the cards of creativity. They're the cards of creation. And because of not wanting to make a mistake or go in the wrong direction, go very fast in the wrong direction, uh, there is there's a split in the energy and there's hesitation apprehension and there's there's like a loop going on in your mind you know over and over maybe over analyzing a certain decision I don't know what it is but it's kind of blocking the creative essence and that's what fueled it to begin with so there's gonna be a moment Pisces and I feel like it's coming up because we have this ace of swords um, which is information that's coming in that is going to require you to get very, very clear on what it is that you're aiming for, what it is that you're trying to achieve in your life. Like maybe to the point where you're writing it down, maybe to the point where you're setting a, a success plan. Uh, you know, what do they say? The, the difference between a dream and a plan is like writing it down. Something like I probably butchered it. Um, the difference between a dream And a plan is writing it down. I don't know, Pisces. I don't know. But there's something here, Pisces, where you're going to be required to get very, very clear. Like, like razor sharp clear. Okay? And again, think about shooting an arrow at your target. Okay? Think about the level of patience. The level of clarity. Your breathing. How do you have to adjust your breathing? You know? How is your aim? How, all those elements. is like, it's like there's something major here. You're about to make a major move, but things have to be aligned before you move so fast. It's a window of opportunity, yes, but it's also a matter of landing the arrow in the right place. Okay, because you can shoot an arrow, but you can shoot at someone else's target, or you can shoot at the wrong target. Does that make sense? It's like you're being very careful, but in a sense, being too careful is kind of blocking the creative essence. And so there's a need to get very clear before you take this action. I don't know what this is. Because in the past, you ended up with spilled cups. Wow, okay, Pisces, what it feels like is holding you back is not even so much the fear of the future or the fear of what might happen. It's more so the fear of what has already happened, the fear of the past, the fear of repeating a lesson. Because it feels like you've maybe in a sense done this before or kind of attempted to do this in the past and you might have ended with empty cups but something is different this time around this time around you have an ace of swords and an ace of wands two beginnings that again you're going from a five of cups in the reverse to a nine of cups from e ending up with empty cups to fulfillment all your cups being filled up okay this is the card of wish fulfillment this is the card of attaining it okay again as you can see here all her cups are full and they're out in the open here they're all spilled in this gloomy energy and also she's standing on a treasure box on a treasure chest meaning she got her wish her wish fulfillment wow pisces what it feels like is happening with this ace of swords is divine is sending some information your way for you to take this opportunity so that you don't have a tower moment because the tower moment would be missing out on this opportunity what the heck, Pisces? And also, seven of cups, seven of wands, the tower, 16. One plus six is seven. So seven, 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 Pisces. Sevens represent good fortune, good luck, windows of opportunity, abundance. Um, so there's something happening here. And spirit doesn't want you to miss out on this opportunity. So some information is coming in to help you make a decision. Because you're aiming, you're getting ready to shoot. But there's some hesitation here because of the past. But Spirit wants you to avoid this tower by taking advantage of this opportunity. 
okay? I'm gonna ask for advice and I'm gonna wrap this reading up. This opportunity, and look at this, doesn't it look like a target? Kind of, like if you were to shoot an arrow and you're aiming at that target, it kind of looks like that target. But this is what you're getting ready to make moves on, Pisces. It's, it's to do with your King of Pentacles. It's to do with a, a stability, a brand new beginning. It's to do with money. It's to do with opportunity, resources, with the stable, tangible things, with the 3D things. That's what this is uh, pertaining to. So again, it's general, so it might be different for everyone, but this is, I can't deny this. This is an Ace of Pentacles. So it's a 3D, uh, like, could be money, could be abundance, could be a new job, a new opportunity, a new investment, new business, I don't know. But you're getting ready to make a big move here. And you're kind of apprehensive about making a move. And Spirit is sending some information your way because Spirit doesn't want you to miss out on this opportunity because if you do, it's going to cause a, a tower moment. So tower's in the reverse because Spirit's trying to avoid a tower moment for you because there's an opportunity here. Pisces, you have three aces. Ace of swords, ace of wands, ace of pentacles. Spirit doesn't want you to miss out on this. Holy crap, Pisces. I, I want to end this reading, but I feel like I can't. Like, I don't know if there's something. Oh my God. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, you have the seven of swords. So another seven. So you have seven, 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 seven. So you have four sevens. There's, big, there's good fortune, good luck. And there's a window of opportunity coming in. Um, if you're into numerology, I would strongly suggest that you look into 7777. Seven, seven, seven. <laughs> See what that means for you. Uh, Pisces, I don't know if I'm going to do an extended. Pisces, the only thing that I will say is you're going to have the information that you need to make this decision. It's only going to be a matter of pulling the trigger. But you can't pull the trigger unless you get very clear on what those goals, what that is for you. What are those steps? What is that goal? What is that? What is the end goal? Okay? Like you have to get very clear to the point where you're writing it down, Pisces. Write it down, please. Write it down. Get it out of your mind, okay? Because we have a lot of swords energy here. Um, but yeah, it's like you can't shoot if you can't aim, right? Because I don't know, like you might just shoot somewhere else. It's like you get very clear very precise because it's happening it's happening this time around so if you hesitate it might bring a, a tower moment okay because there's a there's a window of opportunity here that is requiring your action pisces three brand new beginnings pisces what the heck three aces this is major it's major pisces it's not just another reading this is major um yeah and it has to do with your <laughs> again ace of pentacles to king of pentacles there are big manifestations and there's there's this energy of cashing out and i've talked about this before with saturn coming into pisces this is what this is this is what this is in regards to um i don't want to do an extended <laughs> i can't end the reading and i want to end it because i feel like for whoever this is i can't go deeper because it's going to be different for each and every one of you but I also can't end the reading. I don't know if there's something else that's trying to come in. Okay, what I'm gonna say, Pisces, is everything that you're gonna need, you're gonna have, okay? The Ace of Swords comes first, then the Ace of Wands, then the Ace of Pentacles, meaning the information is there for you to take the passionate action towards your Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so there, there's no denying that. So I think what is trying to come through is that don't, have that sense of self-doubt or hesitation when the opportunity comes because of what you've experienced in the past because in the past you had a wheel of fortune in the reverse in the past you ended up with a five of cups but this time around there's there's a flip you're ending up with a nine of cups instead of a five What do they say? Shoot, shoot to win or shoot to something, shoot to win. I don't know, but that's kind of what it feels like Pisces. And it's all a matter of clarity. That's, that's all it is. It's clarity because we have the Ace of Swords. We have the, the Queen of Swords. There's someone who can see so clearly that is not only intuition of ha having an inner knowing. This is clarity. This is insight. This is information to back it up. Okay. Intuition is one thing. You already dominate that. This is a matter of clarity of vision, of precision precision in, in, in your target and your shot and what it is that you're trying to attain in your aim this is insight over intuition 
And I'm not saying that one is better than the other one because the intuition is already there. You feel this opportunity. You feel this new beginning. You know it. But now there's a need to back it up with insight and information. And that's exactly what's coming in with this Ace of Swords. It's meant for you, Pisces. It's meant for you. That's why it's here. Three aces in a reading? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Pisces. This is major. I don't know who this reading is for, but don't second guess yourself. Don't doubt yourself and don't hold yourself back for things that didn't happen in the past. Because it's different now. It's different now. And so you've learned those lessons. You've learned those lessons. And so now there's a matter of shooting your shot. But not 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 with your eyes closed, okay? Not with your eyes closed. There's a need to see very, very clearly. To write it out, to study it, whatever you need to do. Wow, we had the full flipped. So I, I didn't actually shuffle this, but we had the full flipped, the chariot. Wow, another seven, the chariot. <laughs> you have five sevens and then the eight of swords. I didn't actually pull these cards. These were just flipped in the deck and I didn't notice it. I don't know. And I'm not gonna include them or should I? I'm not, I'm gonna shuffle again. I just didn't notice they were flipped. They come out, they come out. Strength. Oh, dang, that flew. And the high priestess. In the reverse. Uh, you know how we were just talking about intuition, Pisces? This, there's a need to be strong in your intuition and to trust it but also pair it with the inside of the Queen of Swords, okay? I feel like the High Priestess is in the reverse because maybe in the past, maybe in the past you felt that you had that opportunity to shoot your shot, but maybe you were too, maybe, maybe you had just gone through something that maybe didn't work out, okay? Because sometimes our failures from the past can hold us back from our future successes. And so maybe in the past you had an intuitive nudge of like, hey, the opportunity is here, let's go for it. But maybe there was some hesitation that the opportunity might have had to be rerouted back into your life because you maybe you didn't trust your intuition at the time but now the strength is here to back up the intuition but the thing is you're not just moving based on just the intuition you're also having the information and the insight to make this decision and now i feel like i'm going in circles because again this is general so i don't know what that decision is for you but it's something major it's something major because you have three aces three new beginnings Pisces that are essentially leading you to the king of pentacles and we just had this card in the last reading so Pisces I think that's it um I'm gonna do an extended yeah I'm gonna do an extended Pisces I don't know I don't know what's gonna come in I don't even know what to ask because at this point it's different for everyone but I'm gonna pull more cards I want to see what the tower in the reverse is I want to see what the nine of wands is because it feels like it's in the way i don't know pisces i don't know what's gonna come in okay i'm just gonna do an extended i'm gonna pull more cards i'm gonna dive deeper okay if this resonates it resonates if it doesn't it's probably not your reading um but i'm gonna move this over to the extended pisces this is all i have if you would like a personal reading the information's in the description box below it's a shunas tarot at gmail.com and uh again be sure to include your name your questions and your birthday if you're asking about someone else be sure to include their name and their birthday um, but for now pisces this is all i have i'm moving this over to the extended blessings take care <laughs>